Good evening, everyone. I am hopeful that um, you can hear me. I won't start um, chatting for too long until someone lets me know um, that the audio is okay. Hi Jacqueline, can you hear me okay? Good evening Debbie, hi Chris. Perfect, okay. I was having a little panic about my audio. Good evening everyone. How are you all? Um, I hope you've had a good weekend. I had um, a class on Saturday morning. It was really nice actually. So I'm doing classes Saturday mornings um, once a month. Um, there won't be one in August because it'll be around kind of um, catalogue launch for the um, what would have been the July to December, but August to December. Um, a few people are saying sounds a bit echoey. Hmm. Bridget, if it carries on sounding a bit echoey, can you would you let me know? Um, thank you so much. So. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so catalogue launch in August, and then there'll be a class in uh, September, October, and November at the beginning of the month. So, um, yeah, that will be um, good. So, um, Linda says it's a bit echoey as well. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. We don't want an echo, 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 do we? <laughs> That's no good for anybody. Um, let me ditch my front facing and we'll pop it onto the desk and I will. <laughs> uh, can you? I wonder if you can still hear me. Hopefully, you can still see me. Right, hopefully you can hear me, it's not echoing, and you can see my desk. Hopefully. Hopefully the sound is back. Sorry. Hopefully this is okay. Can you hear me? Um, we are going to be using birdhouse, the garden birdhouse set, and I have picked up a good man because... I would place bets that is drawn by the same stamping up artist. Um, I love the sketchiness of this and that's kind of what attracted me to um, this set. So um, yeah that's what I was going to have a play with. So I really like the idea of pairing up this guy in the deck chair with the bird houses so that's um that's the plan sorry for the uh slow start with the uh, old sound issues i have practiced and practiced with the um and i can't recreate the issue i have when it goes live it's really odd 
So I will go back to the drawing board and um, see if I can get that fixed. Um, okay. Good evening, everyone. I wanted to cut a bit of an aperture through this card. Now, I pulled out my um, circles, like the, you know, the ones, the plain and the scalloped circles. But then I suddenly thought, I think these dies, do you know the ones with the birds are still current? I was just trying to find them before I came on to see if they are still in the catalogue. These ones, I think, I feel like they are, but I might be wrong. Have they stayed? Have they gone? I don't know. Birds and more dies. Mm. Oh, they have. Page 162. Okay, perfect. It was that circle that I um, thought could be lovely to add a bit of foliage through that centre. So I'm going to cut that to start with and then we'll see where we go. Uh, let's do... That. So that cuts out that beautiful frame. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, and we can put a little bit of put a little bit of green blending on that, can not we? If we grab the maybe old olive, let's do. green going out that way. There we go, so we've got a little bit of green on there and add a bit more dark to the inside. How do we craft without those blending brushes? <laughs> They're beautiful aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful. They, give, they leave such a smooth, um, smooth blend of ink. So we've got our dude in the deck chair. Got him chilling out. Um, so we've got him. Let's have a bird house. Should we have? Yeah, that one's good. that and then we can maybe have some extra foliage how did I not get that on the side of I don't know I think just keeping the brush quite quite close to the middle I think it's um Deanne says, I've just received my five-year pin. Oh, congratulations. A hobbyist. Um, it just simply means I've spent a ton of money. Well, you know, we could have spent our money on other things. We could have, you know, spent it on uh, gym memberships or, you know, clothes and other hobbies. Playing golf. I don't know, you know. So... Just because we have things to show for the things we've spent on our hobby doesn't mean that it's um, a bad thing. <laughs> um, hello, you. Hey, Kim, over on YouTube. Um, right. Hmm. So I've, start, I've inked that with uh, Granny Apple. I'm just going to quite agree Liz quite agree this is my therapy so much cheaper <laughs> uh, <laughs> absolutely 
and you've got beautiful things that you can give to people um, as well. So not only are you having a lovely time along the way, you've then got some lovely cards and lovely things that you can gift to people. So, right, let's, I'm adding more and more to this. Let's have our early espresso marker. We'll just add a bit of brown to the branches. I'm gonna run that way. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. That has ended up far more old olive than granny apple, but that's okay. <laughs> she has said I'm a therapist. <laughs> Don't think it quite works on yourself, does it? <laughs> Um, right, what colours are we going to do? Birdhouse and like t shirt and shorts and things. What colours should we go for? Let's have. Oh, I don't know. Should we have. Grey. Grey or crumb cake kind of shorts and then maybe. I don't know. It's Calypso coral kind of t-shirt maybe I don't know yeah why not I was gonna go I was gonna reach for navy but I thought no doesn't have to be does it I haven't coloured this set in ages ah oh, me too Brian Brian says um excited to see how this turns out <laughs> You and me both. I'm not sure where this is going, but um, good for. So we have recently purchased um, a, a bird feeder kind of stand. Uh, so it's got like a couple of hanging um, parts on the side, and then it's got like a tray, um, and. Kind of we put it out there initially and I wasn't sure it was going to really attract too many birds because we are quite close to the sea. So um, like with seagulls around and stuff, you kind of think, mm, is it going to? But we've had loads. We've had loads of little visitors. It's been lovely. It's been really nice. We've had a rather chunky pigeon taking his fair share as well. Um... <laughs> But um, he's been quite funny to watch. <laughs> I've had, also if we had, we've had some collared doves. Um, uh, skin tone, so ivory. Maybe kind of a little dark. <laughs> Chunky vision. Yeah, absolutely. And we have cats. Our cats are absolutely uh, no use nor ornament for scaring off birds. <laughs> they'll, they'll chat to them, um, but they certainly wouldn't go after them. <laughs> we'll have a lovely little conversation. <laughs> um but no, they're, they're uh, uh, no use. Other cats just stroll through the garden as well. <laughs> no squirrels yet, Liz. Uh, Jacqueline says gave up. Squirrels always get to it. Oh, that's a shame. I might still have peaches on the brain. We were doing, we had a peach class Um yesterday morning it was so lovely um nice way to spend uh, a saturday morning so um it was half ten till one and it was online and we made three cards and we decorated the mini jars and um I will be in the process of moving that over to my tutorial area on my blog. So if you've missed it and you'd like some 
peachy ideas, um, then that will be over on my tutorial area. Um, right, let's do... I think I'm going to stick with the browns for the... Um, the birdhouse just for this one you can kind of imagine them in lovely colours as well so I think um, as I say I'll stick with the kind of colours all together um, oh bless you Liz says it was a fabulous class and I'm finishing up all my cut papers. Yeah, you had some little paper, you had some papers left over, didn't you? So I'll be excited to see what you make with those. Sub suede. Now I quite like the bronze one. The bronze blend. It's got like a ready, a more ready tone to it. So it will just give um, a different colour, like a different tone to, rather than just having it all soft suede or all crumb cake. I've got that. And then, uh, oh, for the skin, I use for the skin, someone's asking what I use for the skin. I started with the light petal pink and I added just a touch of the ivory to give a little bit of shading. Uh, but you could blend out any of your more neutral tones. Um, Um, what colour should we have that ductcher? Uh, um, I can't decide. Oh, colour lift has come out completely. Oh. Should we use it for the side? I just want to add a bit of shading on there. Um, don't really want to bring in other green. What a great idea. Um, I didn't really, I was thinking like blue or something. I didn't want to bring like another colour in. So yeah, great shout. Um, that's kind of there. In there. Do you think that's part of the chair? I can never tell. I'm going with it. I'm making that part of the chair. There, that's fine. I probably just coloured the air, but hey, who's looking? Circle dye is gorgeous, isn't it? It's from the bird set of dyes. It was called, what's it called? Birds of Law. So you've got lovely borders, you've got dyes, and then you've got a die cut and branches and stuff. Really nice. Right, let's cut these out. And we're going to layer these. As soon as I saw that birdhouse set, I was like, that is going to go great with this guy. Um, I just haven't had the chance to kind of bring this card out of my head and onto the page. So...
I'm going to cut around some of those squiggles. Let's have. Uh, let's have like ivory. Let's put some grass down there. And I like that colour t-shirt. Looks nice, doesn't it? That is Calypso Coral. I've just spotted your Ka Kathleen. I've just spotted your question. Um, I will. I will message you later. I'm uh, just finalising some bits, but um, I'll pop you a message. Uh, this one doesn't have a die. But there is a branch in the same set that we've cut this circle um, with. So um, if you're wanting to do more than one, uh, oh, fussy cutting is not your not your bag, then um, you could always layer those up as well. But, um, I am just going to snip, snip away. So who has stocked up on their designer paper? It's on sale at the moment. Um, so if you've had your eye on some of those pretty papers, then this month is a great time to grab those. Or if you need to restock because some of your papers have been well used or they're maybe too pretty to use <laughs> then either way um, you get the discount so. yes it could look like a shed couldn't it it could be kind of in a distance it could be like a shed a bit more in the distance couldn't it I tell you what I think I I don't think I'll get rid of it. I've still got that big um, garden shed stamp. That would look great with this deck chair in front, wouldn't it? Um, okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I was kind of thinking that we would have a bit of a bit of this kind of coming across and then that can maybe be tucked in a little so that it's not so on view and then if he's maybe popped up on um, dimensionals I think we need a bit of colour um, I'm wondering uh, maybe the um, just a touch of blue maybe just around the edge to give it a little a little something something away with that couldn't we coming in 
this has still kind of got loads of ink from when I've maybe used I couldn't quite tell you what colour blue this is because it's used on Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, um, Coastal Cabana. I think it was last used on Pool Party, which is probably more what this is. And as you can see, I've been a bit naughty and not cleaned or brushed off my run that out that just gives it a touch of something doesn't it just adds a bit of color we could maybe come green from the bottom couldn't we Add a bit of grass let's see if we can get some of that Tell you why that didn't stamp very granny apple green because that's pear pizzazz. That's why I was having, <laughs> that's why it looks very old olive because the old olive covered the pear pizzazz. That's okay. So we can still leave some of this white space. We have got, what have we got in this one? We've got, oh, we've got some grass kind of stamps, haven't we? Oh, look great. Let's do It's enough blending, I think. Happy with that. Let's do, Claire, we're on, on the same page. Claire says blend the background. I think it's there, aren't we? That's a good idea. Do some grass. This is in the birdhouse set. This little stamp. Um, handy, handy for so many. Maybe with an item that perhaps may be coming um, in the future. There we go. So let's do, uh, let's assemble. I think that that might just need a little more, a tiny bit more snipping. I don't want to see so much of that white. So I'm just going to come between those chills. And I'll leave the, I'm not going to be too fussy with that. It was just quite a big chunk of white. So then you can't see through so much to the nice die cut bit. That's better. There we go. We can have, um, shall we have that on? Army blue is going to be too, too blue, isn't it? Too blue. What about this one? Uh, oh, yeah, great. Kathleen says, just spotted. I love your suggestion. If you don't have the man, any suggestions that could be on the front. I like your suggestion. A flower pot. Maybe the Simply Succulents or um, some extra flowers from the um, birdhouse set. So if you're working with the birdhouse set, then you've got these lovely flowers. They could be down the bottom. Crumb cake's a good shout, isn't it? Maybe if we have the white behind on crumb cake. How's about, how's about, how's about, because I'm kind of thinking we might want a little, 
um, blend. So if I cut this to a bit less than this, then, then we can pop the whole thing on crumb cake. But I'm thinking we could find my blue blending brush. I'm going to have to get the ink out. Uh, oh, Forgot about the hole. Yeah. Let's do circles, 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 circles. Don't know if that takes away from it being a bit more crisp. Mm. Might look better with a bit of like yellow or something coming like dappled sunlight. I like it. I like it with the shading. I'm going to go white behind there. Actually, I'm not going to add that blending. Not too keen on that. So let's grab some dimensionals, and we can layer. Layer this up. Oh, too many, too many. Ooh. I mean, like, how many is too many? But that—that that is probably too many. I've probably gone a bit, bit dimensional crazy. Go with it. Go with it. I'll trim. It's not going to be seen, is it? As long as we don't cut the front bit. Problem solved. <laughs> hey Jenny, how are you? Um, the circle die is from a beautiful um, set called, I should know it by now, Birds and More Dies. Um, let's do at Linda's request. Let's do cake face. Um, we can pop that on. I like that, which is quite nice actually. So that brings in some of the more neutral. As I have used tape, I just want to be accurate first time. Now, I've got a little mark there, so he might end up sitting over that side of the grass. And this might end up coming here, which I quite like actually. Let's feed that in. And we can pop that on with a few uh, dimensionals as well. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? Um, let's tuck that into that circle. Oh, it's stuck and then it <laughs> I pulled it back out. <laughs> Going across there. And that's going to tuck under those leaves. I like that being nestled behind there. Kind of doesn't have to be front and centre. 
don't know. I don't know whether to. No, he's going to stay that side. He's going to go flat though, um, because you know we don't want to go dimensional crazy. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. oh, is running out. In fact, it may have run out. I'll give up on that one. Let's try. One, Mr. Chilled out in the garden, hey? And the birdhouse is just going to sit in the trees in the background. Now we just need a sentiment. Um, we've got in the birdhouse. We've got uh, each moment of your. Um, hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. Birthday wishes. Welcome back. Hello. So glad you're here. And then in the good man set, we've got relax. Oh, there you go. Relax your way. That's perfect, isn't it? That one, uh, relax your way. <laughs> Using my laptop first time, technical problems. Already oh, lost sound already. Oh no! So I was I was the one having the technical problems at the start. Um, hopefully you'll get your sound back, Jenny. We have um, what dies have we got? Let's do wonder if we chop this into separate words. Oh, that's quite nice there, isn't it? Kind of coming across that branch. I like that. Let's do that. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Um, I'm going to pop it on um, a dimensional on that end, just so that it kind of sits in line with the branch. But um, glue it onto the to the branch that way. So. Dimensional this end, that will then kind of match the height, but this bit we can, um, if we put a bit of glue on there, so we'll dimensional and glue, that can go across. Twine or not twine? I think I think it's fine as it is actually. I could have a little bow coming out of there, but I think it's probably okay. As is. Oh, thanks, Jacqueline. So so pretty. Uh, Sharon, it is this one is the most fabulous die from the birds and more die set. So that's the die set. Um, and it's got a lovely branch in there as well so that's really nice there we go that is one um, shall we make another shall we shall we what time is it 20 past nine I may I know shock horror I may I know you'll be desperate for another one. I might um, call it a night with that one. Um, just for the seeing. Um, if I do make some more, then I will share with you. Um, I've got a few bits to still do before I end up um, going to bed this evening. So I don't want to be up too, too late. 
um, not on a school night as it were um, anyway so hopefully you have enjoyed that because of my sound difficulty I am not able to turn the camera back around um, uh, now at the end but I hope you've enjoyed that um, and thank you so much for joining me it has been lovely um, as always love my Sunday evenings um, if you enjoy my Sunday evenings and you'd like to join me um, online for a class, then they're all available for booking on my website. Um, they are, did you craft along, Diane? Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, the card and the copper online is now um, open for booking for the next six months. So July to December, I have a, an online card and a copper group. Um, and I share a live crafting on Zoom every Friday morning um, for the next six months. So I'd love you to come and join us. Um, and then, yeah, there's um, tutorials and classes um, popping up all the time. Ah, oh, thanks, Dan. How are you? Um, thank you, everyone. Have a lovely uh, rest of your Sunday evening or a nice Monday morning, depending on where you are in the world. And I will see you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.